Ole, 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 ole. Canucks win 5-1 over the Montreal Canadiens. The Vancouver Canucks beat the Montreal Canadiens, snapping their nine-game winning streak to start off the season, and they finally win their first home game. Oh, it tastes so sweet. In case you're noticing that there's only one of me here right now, um, I may have trash-talked the other guy a little bit too hard, so uh, that's concerning. But hey, I could get over 2011, so I'm sure he'll get over this, so let's move on. Now, since this is a channel about the Canucks and Habs, I'm just going to get that game out of the way first, and then we can go back and talk about the other Canucks games. So, let's get started. As previously mentioned, the Habs were coming into this game with a nine-game winning streak. Longest in franchise history, one away from tying the best opening streak in the NHL, believe it or not, the Canucks still haven't won at home, and all everybody is talking about is how likely the Habs are to come away from this game with another record broken. But you see, here's the thing, um, screw that! You wanna come into our barn and you expect us to let you break that record? We're not the Leafs! You filled half of the building with your fans, expecting Carey Price to stand on his head, he gets scored on twice by our rookie. McCann we do it? Yes, we McCann! You give us crust, he produces so well against you, you had to break his ankle. In all seriousness, I wish the best of luck to Brandon Prust in his injury recovery and Zach Cassian in his addiction recovery. That trade just might have been jinxed. Spiza, not to be confused with Bo Horvat, scores his first of the year. Tori Mitchell gets one goal to give the Canadians a little glimmer of hope, and then Derek Dorsett and Vermont crush it. Now we got some people wondering when Richard Bachman is going to play his first game of the year. Not today, Ryan Miller, outstanding performance. He only lets in one goal, it could have easily been two, but Brian Flynn gets robbed in the second period. And with that, the Canucks win 5-1, beating the Habs, the number one team in the league, meaning that they are now the best team in the league. That's totally how it works. I want to see those power rankings. Man, I absolutely love this game. Not just for the reason that they beat them 5-1 and I got to trash talk some people. Also, it was just a really physical game. I would love to see a playoff series between these two teams. Most because that means that the Canucks would be in the Stanley Cup final again and find some way to blow it, I'm sure. Anyway, now we're going to move on to Detroit and work our way backwards, because why not? Don't really have too much to say about this game because we lost. Um, I love Yannick Weber, I'm happy to see him getting a shot again. But maybe don't let Gustav Nyquist into the zone one on nothing. That's all. Yeah, have scored his first goal though, good for him. Now, Canucks versus Capitals. Um, it really boils down to this. When you see Ovechkin in the slot like this, we win this for Mother Russia. You have two options. One, you cover him, or two, you lose. It's good to see the Sedins clicking with Rivada again though. Those three combined for five points on two goals. The Canucks lose 2-1 in overtime to the Edmonton Oilers. I don't really know what happened in this game. The Canucks absolutely should have won, but I guess the theory of gravity is flawed because that's the only possible thing that could have explained Daniel missing the completely open net. But hey, Barkowski got his first goal in like 130 games, so you know, you take the good with the bad. Also, Connor McDavid is Connor McDavid. And finally, the Canucks at St. Louis. Canucks lose in regulation 4-3. Don't really have much to say. The problem was Brian Miller's save percentage was 8.75. Also, while Vladimir Tarasenko didn't score, he did get two assists the first start of the night and just continued to be plain old silly. I know I'm kind of blowing by these games, but we probably are going to have another video up on Friday when Davis is actually free, and I don't really like talking about the Canucks losing. All right, now for some news around the league. As it stands right now, the Anaheim Ducks only have nine goals, I believe, which is one less than Yager currently has. So that's kind of an issue. I think Bruce Boudreau sadly has to go, despite the fact it's not really his fault. I don't know what possibly could be wrong with them. They can't score goals. That's what's wrong on paper. I don't know why. When the Canucks played them, Getzlaff and Perry looked dangerous. They just couldn't get the puck in the back of the net. So yeah, it's kind of sad to see that Bruce Boudreau might be out of work just because things can't click for him somehow. Anyway, as far as that goes, hopefully Timu Solani's advice will help them continue on in the future. In other news, Roberto Luongo has now passed Grant Fuhr for ninth all-time in wins. He now is four wins back from passing Glenn Hall. He just keeps getting up there. Hopefully he can get four wins this season. Shouldn't be too hard. Columbus Blue Jackets continue to not play very well, and oh man, as a Canucks fan, I'm pretty happy because they pick up John Tortorella giving us a second round pick, which as it stands right now, looks like the 31st overall pick in 2016. News besides that, Darnell Nurse scores his first goal in his first NHL game. Max Domi continues to be ridiculous, um, as does Connor McDavid now. <laughs> that slumps over. Oh boy. And Jeremy Roenick tried to wrestle a live alligator. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, the alligator escaped before Roenick could jump on top of it. 
Uh, anyway, I think that's about it for this episode. I'm just doing a quick little thing because it's been too long and I wanted to talk about how the Canadians got beaten by the Canucks yet again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Click like if you like. Click subscribe if you subscribe. But yeah, that's how it works. Thanks for watching.